fantastic judgment for a tale of two loaves and eight pieces of gold. Two pals, Joe and Don, were traveling in a rural location with no local grocery stores. Don brought three loaves, while Joe brought five, and they both decided to split them. They were just beginning to eat the loaves when a stranger approached them and said, I cannot find any food shops and I am really hungry. If you guys have food I want to buy from you. You don't need to pay, Joe and Don remarked. We have some loaves that we can share, Joe asked, how can we share? I have five loaves and Don has three, you have eight loaves in total. You can cut each loaf into three pieces for a total of 24 pieces. Eight portions can be shared by one person, they smiled and ate the bread. The next morning, the stranger must go early, but the two men are still asleep. He wanted to give the two guys who shared the food last night eight pieces of gold that he possesses. In addition to leaving the gold for them, he also wrote a brief message of gratitude for their generosity. The gold and the letter were there when the lads woke up, I brought five loaves, so I'll take five pieces of gold, Joe said, Don said, let's share four pieces of gold each, I won't take three, they were finally brought before the district judge after being unable to reach a solution. Joe would get seven pieces of gold, and Don would get one, the judge ruled, the judge's justification was that when a loaf is sliced into three pieces, Don has nine pieces, he ate eight of them, and the remaining piece was consumed by the stranger, Joe had fifteen pieces, of which he consumed eight and the stranger consumed the remaining seven, so, Joe was due seven pieces, while Don was due one. Don felt bad for taking the matter to court because he might not have ended up with only one piece if he had agreed to Joe's offer to take three.